Gethin, you're the sales and marketing director at the protected vehicles domain at Talis Australia. So you've uh, accompanied the Hawkeye halfway across the world to be here. Why is it important for you to be at Eurosatory? Well, Eurosatory is, uh, as I understand, if not the largest, then one of the largest uh, defence shows in the world. Um, and uh, we're here to uh, to show everybody the uh, the Hawkeye and to uh, uh, demonstrate the Hawkeye left-hand drive export version. And what are you demonstrating uh, this year? Uh, well, we have to. We brought two vehicles uh, halfway around the world, as you said. So the Hawkeye Alpha is uh, is at the Talas stand, uh, very prominently placed there. That's a Euro Satori veteran now. It was actually here two years ago. Uh, for the first time, we brought a second vehicle, which is the one which is just behind us, uh, the left-hand drive. This is the newest Hawkeye that we've built. It's only three months old, um, and this represents the latest uh, standard based on the test program we've run with the Australian Defence Force over the last two years. So all of the design changes and improvements that have come out of that program are incorporated into this vehicle behind us. What has the reaction been this week from visitors? We've been really very, very uh, pleasantly, um, I wouldn't say surprised, because we thought it would be, uh, it would be popular. Um, a lot of people have have looked at the Hawkeye on the stand, um, a lot of journalists from around the world, an awful lot of uh, delegations from different countries, uniform delegations, politicians, uh, a lot of suppliers or people who would like to be suppliers uh, and inter other interested parties. And we're also pleased to see uh, with the left-hand drive, which is driving on the demonstration show twice a day, there's some very large crowds here as well and we've been getting a lot of people coming out uh, after the show as we are now to have a look at the vehicle. So we're really very happy with, uh, with the response. Uh, also, and one of the reasons for coming to Euro Satori, uh, we're at Talas Australia. We're a long way from uh, many of our markets and many of our Talas colleagues in Europe. And we've been pleased by how many of our Talas colleagues from, uh, from Europe and from around the world who have come to the show have been able to have a look at the vehicle and really uh, understand what it is, uh, learn a bit more about it. Because uh, we really believe that uh, beyond the Australian uh, capability for which it's been, uh, it's been designed, obviously, we think there's a great potential around the world for this vehicle. For, uh, for, it's a lightweight protected mobility vehicle. That's the, uh, the category that it sits in. So the Australians are looking at it to replace their Land Rover fleet, possibly over 1,300 vehicles. But it's got a higher level of crew protection and a higher level of payload than the, the old Land Rovers. Now there are many uh, armies around the world, defence forces, who have a similar requirement. Uh, and we really believe that the Hawkeye's got potential in a number of markets. Uh, we're already in discussion with some, uh, some programs uh, around Europe and around the world. I can't say who they are at the moment, obviously. Um, and I think uh, as a result of the number of people that will see the vehicle this week, uh, we're hopeful of some more, some more interest and hopefully some more sales leads as well. So this is the first time that the Hawkeye has been involved in the live demonstrations outside? That's correct, yes. Yeah, so How, how's that been going? Uh, it's gone very well. I mean, you probably, you've just seen the show yourself. You'll notice we were the only ones that went down the rocks. Yeah. There's one or two others tried it in testing last week. But um, there's three things about the Hawkeye. Really. We talk about the mobility, the payload, and the protection for the crew. So this is really, this track is demonstrating the mobility very well. You can see the Hawkeye climbing and descending steep slopes, going over the rocks, high speed over the rough terrain here. So it's a good track just for giving people a bit of a flavour of what the vehicle can do. It's a lot more capable than what you can see here, but we're just trying to give people a taste in the, in the short space that we have in the show. As I understand it, this is the first step of a, a, a kind of European tour for the Euro Satori, so the for the Hawkeye. So, that's, that's right, yes. so where can we see it next? Well, uh, if you're at the DVD show in the UK next week, we'll be there on the Wednesday and the Thursday. Uh, the Hawkeye Left and Drive is going to take a little break then in France through July and August. Uh, towards the end of August, we're going to move it to Poland, to the MSPO show in Poland. It'll be there at the beginning of September. Uh, and beyond that, we've, uh, we've got a few ideas about where it might go next. But uh, this vehicle will probably be staying in Europe for a little bit longer yet, um, just so that uh, people can get a chance to have a look at it and experience it. Okay. Ian, thank you very much. Thanks very much, Adam.